Hello, Fitz. How are you today? I'm great, Patrick. How are you? I'm doing great. So you are headed off to Sochi for the Olympics soon. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? Uh, 14. So, yeah. Pretty, really? Yeah, pretty pumped to be uh, to have the opportunity to go over to Sochi and to represent uh, Team USA. So I think it's a, a chance of a lifetime, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, it is a dream. Have you ever been to Russia? I've actually been there. Uh, I was trying to figure it out the other day, five or six times so far. So I'm pretty familiar with the country. So I'm I'm looking forward to heading back there. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. I think people here in the U.S. kind of underestimate the um, beauty and the magnitude of Russia, but it's a really, really cool place to visit. Yeah, I agree. It's one of my favorites. So you're an endurance athlete. You run the really, really, or you skate the really long races. So my question to you is, does it ever get miserable at the end? You look so strong while you're skating. How does it feel? Uh, it feels a lot worse than it uh, than it actually looks. Uh, the the deceiving thing about speed skating is that it looks really graceful when it's done right. Um, but by the end of a race, especially at 10,000 meters, I basically am completely cashed out. Um, I think after my 10,000 meters in, at the Olympic trials uh, a week ago, I face planted. So if that gives you any indication how deep we go. so Okay. Yeah, it looks, it looks grueling, and I don't think anyone really has any clue what goes into being able to skate that far that fast against the other fastest skaters in the world. It's got to be amazing, huh? Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome, and it's, uh, it's a tough, tough uh, uh, sport, but it's something that I really take a lot of pride in. So it's, it's cool. Now, what do you say to yourself? I mean, how do you get through it? Is there a mental game going on? There's a bunch of mental games that we play throughout a race because, I mean, when your race is 13 and a half minutes, you have to come up with something to think about for 13 and a half minutes. And so you kind of break up the race into three sections or if things are kind of going bad or they're not necessarily going the way that you had envisioned it the night before, you might have to kind of take your mind off of it by doing, you know, some simple arithmetic in your head or something like that. There's all kinds of games wow. that the... Uh, that the USOC and the US Speed Skating Sports Psychologists have kind of presented to us to help us uh, get through, you know, those grueling, grueling races. That's interesting. Now, do you ever talk smack to the other skaters? Uh, I actually, I one of the things that I really love about speed skating is that we're actually all friends outside of the rink. It's a really hard sport, and because of that, we all respect each other for what we do when we're out on the ice. So. I mean, we're really cutthroat once we get out there and we want to beat each other. But some of my best friends are Canadian or Dutch or Norwegian. So it's this weird dichotomy that we have out on the speed skating circuit that as when we're on the ice, we're the most cutthroat competitors. But you'll see us in the evenings, you know, hanging out, having a cappuccino or something like that. So um, it's cool, though. That's great. Now, who will your toughest competitors be in Sochi? Yeah, I think definitely you're going to have to look at the Dutch. But after that, the Russians, the Germans, and the Norwegians are a close second. But I think the thing that we have here in the U.S. that no other country has is the support of 300 million Americans that support Team USA. It's something that our whole entire, whole entire country gets behind, and it's something that I really am looking forward to feeling when I get over there. Well, you will be loved, that is for sure. So, um, question. Yeah. I have a fitness audience, and some of the folks out there, they can't get motivated to get off their couch just to go for a walk, and you train eight hours a day. What is your advice for the average Joe who just needs to get started or push a little harder to get fit? You know what? Sometimes, at least from what I'm concerned, is in order to get going, you sometimes have to get a change of location. Um, to do go about the same routine it can get old. And that's why I'm actually partnering with Hilton today with the Hilton Ultimate Weekender Sweepstakes. And what Hilton is doing is giving away a free weekend getaway every single weekend. So if people are looking to kickstart their fitness routine, I'd say go on Hilton.com slash Weekender and try to win a free getaway and kickstart your, uh, your fitness goals in San Diego, in L.A., or in Miami. You know, somewhere new, somewhere exciting where you feel motivated. It's not the same old routine. That's a great idea, and that's a really great uh, contest. Now, even though I'm interviewing you, I probably still qualify to enter, right? There's no special wording against Fitz Kohler entering this contest, correct? There is no special wording. You can actually win multiple <laughs> times, too. So, I mean, if you win and you head to San Diego for a weekend, you can play again and see if you want to go down to Miami. So it's, it's, I think it's the greatest uh, sweepstakes I've seen. 
Well, that's a really good idea. And you're right, getting away just to find some different atmosphere does inspire people to move around. Well, Patrick, I am so excited for you, and I will be sitting in front of my TV screaming and cheering for you when you get on the ice as well. Millions of other Americans, I really appreciate your time. Have a great time in Sochi. Hey, thank you very much, Fitz, for having me. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.